Hi, my name's Max. Welcome to the Piedras Blancas Elephant Seal Rookery. During this time of the year, we have our females and our juveniles here for the, their yearly molt. It is the time of the year where the beach is the most crowded. As you can see, they're run right on top of them. Molting is when an elephant seal loses its top layer of skin and their fur. They will lose all their fur at one time, which is what we call a catastrophic molt. Their fur is very rough. This is an example of the top layer of skin. This is the outside part of the fur, which almost feels like an astroturf or plastic grass. And this is the back part of the fur, which is where the roots are coming through, and it feels almost like a Velcro. So again, as you can see, some of our seals have big chunks that are coming off of them at the moment. Their skin tone is the silver gray. So if you see a silvery gray color, they've already lost all of their molt. And their fur is more of the browns and yellows. So that you can see some that are just starting and others that have already completed their molt. So if you look at these three seals that are laying their heads on the back of the other one, you can kind of get an idea of the different skin tones and different colors of fur. Just like humans, their skin tones can range. So you have some that are a lighter silver to a darker gray, and the two that are silver and gray have already completed their molt. And then you've got the one below it that's kind of a yellow color, and the one who they're laying on top of that's brown. So the yellows and browns are the colors of their fur. And again, just like human beings, we have different color hair. They have different color hair. Now, human beings, we lose hair and, and skin every single day. But the elephant seals are not able to do that because when they're in the water, all of their blood is diverted away from their skin. So in order to lose their that top layer and to be healthy, they come ashore once a year to do that. These adult females and juveniles will be on the beach for about a month to six weeks to complete the molting process. So as you can see, this is the difference between a male and a female. The female on the left does not have the big nose or proboscis. Only the males have that. So on the beach right now, you will not be seeing any seals with a big proboscis. You will only be seeing females and juveniles. Now the juveniles could be male, but they don't grow the proboscis until they're about eight years old, it'll be fully grown. Start to notice it more at about six, but our seals on the beach right now are gonna be mostly younger than that. If you look in the water, you'll see there's a bunch of boys playing in the water. And the way we know that they're boys is because of the behaviors that they're doing. You can't really see that proboscis yet, but they're doing some chest bumping behavior that is only typical to male seals. The seals that go into the water are actually slowing down their process for their molting. So most of them will stay on land the majority of the time in order to keep that blood flowing and so that they do not have to be here as long. The reason for that is when they're on the beach, they're fasting. That means they're not eating. So the longer it takes for them to lose their fur, the longer they have to go without food. So you can see here the front flipper and the back flipper. The front flipper has fingernails. The back flipper is just webbed, which helps them when they're swimming. But that front flipper, those, those nails help them scratch when they have an itch. And they also use those front flippers very much like we would use our hand when they're throwing sand to pull themselves off. They actually cup their flipper to get a good grip of the sand. Elephant seals will flip sand like this little guy is doing sometimes in order to keep themselves cool when they're on the beach. Elephant seals have a really thick layer of blubber. It keeps them warm when they're in the deep, cold ocean. But on the beach, that blubber makes them really hot. So the sand is used to cool them off and protect them from the sun. And here you can see a couple of seals giving themselves a good scratch, making really good use of those fingernails. seals have very short front flippers, which makes it difficult. Their hind flippers also cannot really be used to speed, so they really have to do kind of an inchworm 
some movement in order to get themselves along the beach. As you can see, elephant seals are very communal when they're on the beach. They're very close together and sometimes, as you can see, getting a little cranky with each other. But they do spend all their time close together while they're there. The funny thing is, is when they go to migrate, they will migrate individually. They will not go in a group and they will spend eight to ten months of the year by themselves out at sea. Spring is the busiest time on the beach, which means the most number of seals are here. But the adult males, or bulls as we call them, won't be here for their molt until summer. As you can see, elephant seals are fun to watch. There's always something different happening on the beach. Different times of the year, different seals on the beach. Hope to see you sometime soon up here at Piedras Blancas.